Preparing the pocket welt, also known as the pocket welt tab or just tab. First, find the center of the welt. Fold in half. Finger press. And mark. Next, interface the welt, fusible interfacing, placing the interface, interfacing right in the center and having the welt perimeter showing. Interfuse well according to manufacturer's directions. You should still be able to see your center mark. If you cannot, go ahead and mark it again, just to make sure that you know where that mark is. It will become important once you place your tab onto your garment. Fold the web with wrong sides together, matching the raw edges. and baste the raw edges together close to the edge. I've now basted the wrong edge the, the wrong edges together, keeping those raw edges right on top of each other. And because I used a magic marker, you can actually see the line from the right side of the tab. Now we're going to use, for example, in this example, we're going to use a pocket opening that is six inches wide. So your welt piece will be seven inches wide. So you want to cut that one inch wider than the opening of your pocket. And you'll see why later on. Next, draw a line up from the raw edge of the welt. This will help you to see the stitch line when you stitch the welt to the garment. And I'm using a clear gridded ruler so that I'll know exactly where that half inch line, stitching line should be. And I'm drawing it in as a dash line to denote that it is a, is a stitching line. I've also placed the size, the cut size of this pocket wilt, which is seven inches long or wide by two inches high. Next, make your stitching marks on the garment right side. Because we've decided this pocket is going to have a six inch opening, we're going to make our first line six inches wide as the stitch line using the dart leg as the midpoint. So there will be three inches on either side of this dart leg that will be our stitching lines. There's three inches. There's three inches, three inches. So this would, would be the center of the opening. And because our tab or our welt is one inch high 
after we folded it, we're going to make the markings one inch. And we draw in our bottom stitch line. So we have six inches which is our pocket opening and one inch high. The midpoint of this is a half inch between the bottom stitch line and the cut line, which we will draw in as a solid line. And now we'll, we will draw in our triangles. So we've got a half inch in, a half inch on this side, and then we draw the triangles to the corner. So next we pin in our tab or our, our pocket welt. We match the raw edge to the cut line. And when we do that, the dash line that is a half inch down should match up with the dash line or the stitching line on the pocket opening. So we're going to match these center lines and match the raw edge of the welt to the solid line on the pocket opening. And we will pin that in. And I'm going to check that our stitch line on the welt, which is this dash line, matches the stitch line on the pocket opening on the garment at the bottom. So stitch line of the welt, and there's our stitch line on the garment. So this is what we stitch. We actually start where this corner is right here. We do not go any further than that corner. So our stitch line is right here and our corner is right there. If you can see me poking through the pin and there's our corner point. So we start right at that spot with our stitch line and we end exactly on the other side on the other end exactly where that corner is stitching the tab in 
again we start exactly where the corner marking is on our garment we can ignore this stitch line because that is our basting stitch so we want to start stitching and then we want to back stitch to reinforce and again we don't want to go past that corner and then we continue on coming up to the other the second corner and as you can see there it is right there I want to stop exactly on that corner and then backstitch So I've stitched on the stitching line which matches up with the marking line and I've stopped at the corners and reinforced. So now we would make our slash and turn this upward. So this is what this looks like from the wrong side of your garment. Because I used a magic marker, you can actually see the bleeding through of the markings. So you've got your triangles in place. You've got the stitching lines, which are the dash lines. You've got the solid line, which we'll cut in just a second. And if you, and if you notice, you see those stitch marks where we've actually stitched the tab to the front of the garment. And we start it at the corner, reinforced to the other corner, reinforce the corner. That's the back side. And this is what it looks like on the front side so far. And this is your stitching line that we just made. So now we'll slash through. We're going to slash through this solid line and how we do that is I usually just start to do it from the front make a cut fold it over make a cut Then I slash right on the line. To the triangle. And then I slash the triangle right into the corner. Be careful slashing the triangle. You don't want to go past the corner. So you just want to make it right in the corner. You can always slash more later if you need to, but I just usually start and just go right to the corner. And then you want to do the other side. 